get to get everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wednesday night refuel time, and uh, we're excited to be hanging out with uh, some friends tonight. But as everybody's getting ready to log on, I know it takes just a minute, so while we're doing that, it's going to be a great week, but or a great night. Let me just double check to make sure we're all firing on all cylinders. Make sure there's audio. And, uh, we're excited to be oh, yeah. Now. Yep. Uh, there we go. Okay, here we come. Hey, Susan, glad to see you. Yep. Who else has already come on? There we go. Okay, Stephanie, we go. good to hey, see you. Glad to see you. Get that off of there. All right. Hey, Amy. Well, as everybody's logging on, I just want to say thanks for hanging out with us tonight on Wednesday Night Refuel. Hey, Kathy, give those kids a hug for me. And uh, we're going to have an amazing time. It is stinking hot out here. I will tell you, <laughs> will tell you that. And uh, I thought it would be great. Let's do this outside. Let's do this outside. Do it I, in the pool. <laughs> I, yeah. I told Richard, I said, I, we're sitting, I'm, I'm already sweating. But uh, it's going to be fantastic. So, anyway. Well, while you guys are getting signed on, um, let me just remind you about a couple of things and I'll tell you what's going on. But number one, Refuel is all about encouragement. That's what we do on Wednesday nights. It's the middle of the week, sometimes the hardest part of the week for people. And we just want to encourage you, lift you up, fill that gas tank up just a little bit so that you can get through the rest of the week. And it's a good thing. Now, the second thing is this is about a conversation. All right. So right down here, look, I'm sitting in a different place. I got a suit. I'm not pointing at Richard. Nope. Okay. <laughs> right down there, that's the conversation, the com the comment section. So get involved in the conversation. That's what's beautiful about this Facebook Live thing is that we really can have a conversation and you can be a part. And the other thing is you may have some input that changes somebody's life. You don't know what you say could be huge. Or maybe you're Absolutely. somebody that needs a pickup. That's what it's for, so make sure you jump in there. The other thing is right down here, got that one right, right down there <laughs> is the amen corner. It's the likes, the loves, all that, just to let us know that you're kind of connecting and that we know what, uh, or we see that you're kind of, we're on the right radar. We'll say it like that. So there's that. Then the last thing is share this. Just make sure you share it and uh, because you have connection with people that we don't. and. I really can tell you that tonight, out of all of them that we do, tonight has the potential to literally change people's lives. So uh, you want to share this. So anyway, so let's just jump right in. All right. So I'm trusting all of you to share. All right. Trusting. Oh, you know what? I, I'm sitting there pointing at everybody, and uh, <laughs> I didn't share it. So. Um, and, uh, See, this is what I always have to figure out because I'm not as smart as most everybody else. Do you see a share button? I don't even see. Oh, there it was. Share. See how hard that was. Now share it. Share it. <laughs> or share it there, too. I share it. <laughs> You'll appreciate that, right? Uh, okay. Share it with everybody. Share it with everybody. So, okay, we're going to get started tonight. And uh, first of all, for those of you in our area, you... Uh, I don't have to introduce my guest, uh, but I will anyway, because there's a lot of you that watch uh, around the world, and I want you to know who this guy is. I've known Richard for a lot of years now. A lot of years. A lot of years. I was Absolutely. fortunate enough to get to uh, hitch you and your wife. Yes, you heard. I was. I was there. You probably don't the remember man. me. You, you, were, you, were, you were kind of uh, in another world at that yep. moment. So. Yep, and you had a lot more hair. <laughs> I had a lot more hair. <laughs> a lot more, and it was a lot blonder. Yes, it was. Uh, Both of ours. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wear a cap. Right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny. Over all the years, there's been a few things that's just never changed with Richard was, was his heart and his attitude. And... Uh, and just so you know, he's a he's a hardcore believer in Christ, just like all of us here. And but that's not the story tonight in particular. The reason I wanted Richard to come on was because if you're local in our area, Richard has been the centerpiece, I guess you would say, of I, I would say it's it's kind of a movement. That's I, I hope it is. It's it's it kind of is. I hope it's moving people. <laughs> well, when we drive through town and there's you know uh, I call them suitor signs. Yeah. You know yep. everywhere, because everybody loves you. First of all, 
Well, I love everybody. <laughs> we know that. But it's not just that. It's it's this. Yeah. All right. This right here. It's as simple as this. And you know, I've got my, I got my suit. Look, so I, I am all decked out. All I, all I got. All I got is a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go that far, man. You know. And it's so funny. That's how that all started. I, I got I got this tattoo. I don't know if you can. There it yep. is. Yep. I got the tattoo two years ago and it's it's really funny when I look back now at several of my tattoos that you know um, in, in in April I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and I look at these tattoos and I'm like these are all are for this battle hmm. and this here I got I um, 13, 14 years I, I shot for the Titans and every year... The, and he's the, a photographer. I forgot to tell that. He's he's actually one of the most sought-after <laughs> photographers in our in our region and he's he's legendary. Just so you, if you don't know that, he is. He's a legend. <laughs> and not only in his own mind, in a few other people's minds. In a lot of people's <laughs> minds, maybe. <laughs> I hope, anyway. But um, I was shooting uh, every year the players can design their own shoes and they would have different uh, things painted on them. And a lot of times I would get, during warm-ups, I would get real close and shoot some things. And I don't remember the player, but uh, the player had this uh, painted on there. And I was looking through some images one day, and I saw that. And I was looking at it, and I was thinking, you know, that's, what is that? And then I was like, oh, like, Positive, that's a greater sign, greater than minus, greater than no, positive, greater, negative, oh. And so I like, oh, yeah, positivity is greater than negativity. Yep. And so when I went, I was going to get a tattoo about two years ago, and I'm like, I'm going to put that right on my hand because I love that. I, I just love that because, you know, I, I obviously we know what what this world is like now. Yeah. And it, it's, it's so fun for me to, um, and in my photography business, one of the things that I love is, believe it or not, most of the time when I go in, uh, I'm probably the most disliked guy there because no one wants their picture made. They're too fat, That's they're not, too ugly, they're true. too skinny. They're that part's true, the most <laughs> unlike person is not true, but anyway. They, 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 they hate it. <laughs> But my, my favorite thing is to take the one person that they that, that hates it the most and it's like hitting, it's like at the fair and you get to pick from the top shelf of all the stuffed animals where you hit the most yeah. targets. Is you have That's what I call the person that they said, now this guy's going to be a grump. And they get up and they go, wow, man, that was awesome. Thank you. That was nothing to what I thought. I thought it was going to be miserable. And I love that. Yeah. And it's... Um, that's fun for me. And so the same thing with being positive about things, um, you know, it's, it's, that's what this whole thing is about. And it's who you are. I, See, I, and, I, and, and I'm just going to say that real quick because one of the things that's always stood out, anybody that knows Richard knows he's like on 12 all the time. I mean, I know Spinal Tap could go to 11, Suter goes to 12, and you're like, dang, dude, wow. But that's who he is, and he's always just a breath of fresh air. But then, even with all that, and through all the battles that you've already been through in life, right? you come to this place, right. you worked hard, your career's rocking and rolling, you're doing everything that you've loved to do. Yes. Uh, you're married to a beautiful yes. woman who you're loving life. you yes. got a great pastor. I mean... He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about Darren. But anyway... <laughs> Both of y'all. <laughs> but anyhow, but then we come to this place where you get this diagnosis. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, for since 2008, I had been fighting with pancreatitis over mm -hmm. in, in, hospi in hospital, out of hospital, in hospital, out of hospital. I mean, literally, I think one year I was in St. Thomas 14 times. Uh, you know, I was on... Uh, I had a pick line. I went, <laughs> I went I 64 this. days one time with a with a TPN. That's where you don't eat or drink for 64 days. That right there, 
There might have been some days that I wasn't as positive as I should have been. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, I don't no, know. I did. I, you you're, know, e you're eating out of a bag and I a straw. Do, I and, do uh, remember, I do remember, um, people, I would run into somebody and they're like, you have, you have lost your mind. <laughs> I would Google a restaurant and take their logo and draw on the bag every night and I'd say, look, I'm having Cracker Barrel. And I would do, and I would wear it for 16, do do. 16 hours a day. But, but here's yeah. the situation. That wasn't fun to wear that for 16 hours a day, but here was the blessing of it. I got to, I got nourishment because mm. with the pancreatitis and the shape my pancreas in, I couldn't eat. So how am I going to fuss about wearing a bag for 16 hours? Uh, at one of the funniest stories, and I'll tell it super fast, yeah. I was shooting a job in Clarksville, and I was on the way down there one morning, and I would always put the bag on at 6 o'clock at night, and it came off at 10 in the morning. At the time, I had a car that had a sunroof. While I was driving down I-24 headed to Clarksville to shoot for this uh, 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 kid's summer camp and my little beeper went off and when it did it was telling me that, the, that, that I guess you could say my breakfast was through. So I'm riding down the road and uh, probably shouldn't have done this but I, was, I pulled out my gloves, put my gloves on, pulled out my saline and my heparin and I unscrewed the line and I started flushing the line. Well, I had a sunroof in my car, and the reason I mention that, this trailer truck comes God. by me, and the guy looks down through the sunroof, <laughs> and he sees me shooting heparin into this line. Of course, when he when I caught his eye, I just I went. Oh. <laughs> that probably oh wasn't God. cool, but but anyway. But I mean, there again, I mean, it is what it is, and I was going to have fun with it. Yeah. But uh, yes, I I. Um, it had been nine years since they had taken out, in 2012, they took the bottom part of my pancreas out, and I've been great. Mm -hmm. And uh, this March, things started going south, and um, I knew something was up, and I went to my doctor in, um, in uh, April, yeah. and um, they did a CT scan, and I got the phone call, and uh, they said, not what we expected, there's a mass in your uh, pancreas. Yeah. And so my reply was, okay, what's next? And so that night at 9.30, my doctor called me. He had just gotten in. He was at home, and he had been a busy day. And he was like, wow, man, not what I expected. But tomorrow, I'm going to get you in because I want to get a biopsy as soon as possible. I said, okay. We did that. He gave me the call. Not what I want to have to tell you, but it's cancer. And my reply was, okay, what's next? And so I met with the surgeon that did my surgery in 2012. Uh, we met with an oncologist. Um, I was told um, the, the beautiful part of this, one of my first big victories was when they went in to put my port in, they wanted to look around and make sure it hadn't spread mm -hmm. more places. They also told me that we're going to do a, um, an abdomen wash where they take fluid from the abdomen and they check it for cancer cells to see where all it spread. Sounds like fun. And that Tuesday, when they text us, said, hey, thought you'd be excited to know that whole abdomen wash came back negative. No cancer cells anywhere. Yeah. And lymph nodes clear. Victory won. And so then we met with the oncologist and we started our um, first chemo. And I had that on Tuesday and that week, was an absolute tsunami, hurricane, tornado, disaster, yeah. not from the chemo. Obviously, with the pancreas being in the shape it's in, my blood sugar got really high, and I collapsed on a Saturday night. Uh, Elizabeth called 911. I don't know anything. I was hallucinating. Blood sugar was like 750 or something like that. I was in CCU for three days, and we hurtled right through that and got into a room and made it out of that. Hmm. Then they found out that I had a um, blood infection with a white count of over 50,000 and stayed in the hospital five more days and then I wore a um, antibiotic on me uh, through a pick line for 21 days and we got over that. And I think that's kind of when, because I was the whole time I would be like, okay, well, what's next? Yeah. You know, and, and, and I still say this. Um, not one time have I had, uh, and this is not a feel-good statement that I want people to hear, like, 
wow, that's awesome. It's, it's, I'm being honest that I have yet to ever have that just fall out moment. I've had no fear. And, and I'm, I'm very grateful for God to just really like, hey, I got you, man. I yeah. got you. Yeah. And I haven't had that fear. I mean, I'm telling doctors, okay, well, what's next? And when they told me that with cancer you have, they look at it through blood work, they call it a tumor marker. And they never gave me the number, but they kept telling me, your, your tumor marker, uh, and it's related to the cells that pertain to cancer, uh, how well it can be treated, how aggressive the cancer is, and it's a tumor marker. Yeah. And they said mine was extremely high. And I said, okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't need to know the number, what's next? And so we missed chemotherapy for four and a half weeks because of this infection. And we got started back, and every week, every two weeks, when I would go back in to the doctor, he was asking me, so how is, you know, vomiting or, you know, yeah. fatigue and loss out? I'm, I'm awesome. It's great. Can, and, I, can I ask you? Yes, so, sir. I just want to ask some questions in that because... I mean, obviously, this is a battle that's being won. It's not simply being fought, it's being won. That's right. Because you're here with me. But most people's response to this kind of situation is not lack of fear. It's actually a lot of fear. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, What what is the thing for you that helped you put away that fear because you're human absolutely you know, absolutely you're, human. You're, you're not inhuman I mean e positive people struggle too absolutely absolutely So, what do you think one of the keys well we don't have to elaborate on it because we got a lot of story to tell but what is one of the keys for you that helped you overcome that fear I think or you I, didn't have to overcome it I guess I, but I, to just put I, it away I think honestly that how I've always looked at things, um, you know, instead of thinking of all the reasons won't work, I'd rather focus on how they will work. Yeah. Or what my results going to yeah. be. Um, and and because you're absolutely an optimist. Let, I, without I, a doubt. I, I and I'm I'm not saying I've always. I think pretty much, maybe my whole life I have been. This cup is. Half full. Half full, absolutely. I can promise you my <laughs> cup's always half full, running over, baby. But, uh, no, I, 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 you know, and I, and a lot of people ask me, like, how did you face, I mean, I know you, have known you a long time, Richard, but how did you face the word cancer? Yeah. And, I, I you know, it really, I, I mean, I honestly think from that moment, there was just this, thing that was over me that God was like I got you yeah I didn't say that he tapped me on the shoulder that I heard him but it was just like I had something like no just blocking out anything that was I don't have a great answer other than I know how I feel and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you man I have I've had no fear yeah. to try to make somebody feel good because I'm human right and to hear the cancer word that's yeah. not one you want to hear. Right. Uh, and, and don't mind saying, when people, when I would, somebody asked me, what is it? I'd say pancreatic cancer. And then they'd all just give you mm -hmm. that cringe look, you yeah. know? And because we all know it's got a bad rap. Yeah. But I still say cancer is not a death sentence. That's right. And, I, and I'm going to, and I'm going to believe that because there's people that do win at cancer. And I've told many people, we will win. Yeah. It may not be immediately. But I can guarantee it's definitely. Yeah, yeah. And I and that's not just to hear me say that. I really believe that. Yeah. And the more and more uh, we have a page. Um, if you're not on it, want to follow us? It's Richard's Recovery. Yep. We don't sell anything, so that wasn't a promo to get you to buy something. <laughs> but anyway. Except hats. It it it, <laughs> it might make you uh, it, either either you're gonna love all the fun that that I try to have with people every day, or you're gonna determine that 
no, there's no way cancer is going to kill this crazy guy. Yeah. But um, I'd love for people to, to follow us. But, it hey, but let me tell you about that page, y'all. It's Richard's Recovery. It's a Facebook page. You you can look it up. If you search for Richard's Recovery. Actually, we'll put a, uh, I think I can put a link in here right now. Uh, what if you just do an at, Richard? Is that what you're, you're kind of the social mm. media genius, aren't you? You had it up there a while ago when you were sharing something. There it is. There it looks like it's starting to come up right there. The second one. Or did you? Yep, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I put it there, guys. You should just be able to click on that. Um, here's the cool thing about that site is there's a lot of people engaging and encouraging each other. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And there's some great stories that come out absolutely. of that. So if you're needing to pick me up, dude, I'm just telling you, it's a, it's a great page it's, for it's, that. It's and so, to keep up with Richard it's So It's so fun with that. But um, I'm going to kind of fast forward through, yeah. the, through the chemo. Yeah. Uh, that's not what... That's not something that I like. These here, the the positivity is greater than negativity. You know, I love seeing people wear the bands. I I, I the other day, I, I four cars passed me that had Team Suter with the, with the uh, positivity, and I love that because my whole motive is for people to really see. I mean, I've had people tell me I have really started thinking about what I'm reading on you mm -hmm. with your stuff. And like I'm working to like change my life in yeah. far as being positive, and I love the text, emails, Facebook messages from people that I don't know, and they're like, "Hey, I just want to share something with you." They're moved. I've had a really rotten week, and I, I just I was just fed up this morning, and all of a sudden it clicked with me, and I got to thinking about your little positivity is greater than negativity, and I'm thinking, "Wow, if you're doing that and you're marching through this cancer journey." My little problem, I, I got to get my butt up and go. I mean, yeah. I got to get on with life. Yeah. But, um, you know, this is going great. Um, the last thing I will say about this is uh, I went in, I uh, do chemo all day on a Tuesday. I go back, I bring home my to-go box, as I call it, uh, with chemo, and I wear it for 46 hours. I go back on Thursday, and I get that taken off. And I was back there this Thursday. And uh, I'm telling you, I didn't even feel my tires driving home that day. Uh, the doctor was standing there. He looked over at me, and then he turned back around, and he snapped his head, and he's like, dude, you've got to get over here quick. I want to show you this report. And I'm like, okay, what is it? And to make it short, I was talking about a tumor marker. And he pulled it up, and I saw him writing little numbers. And I was like, what is he going to show me? And he was printing out the tumor marker chart, the graph. And my, the chart says 50,000 is where it stops. Well, as always, I've always tried to really... Overachiever. Overachiever. <laughs> and my tumor marker was 46,438. I'm sorry, 44,600. And the line went straight down. And my tumor marker today, or as of last Tuesday when they did my blood work, was 6,400. That's just, that's that's just God. 30, man. That's 38,000. I mean, this. that's right. When people ask me, how are you doing so good? You're, you're not sick. You've not lost your hair. So any, like, a nausea? I'm like, no. And they said, why are you doing so well? And I go, yeah. That, that's yeah. That's, that's him. I've I've told people for years I'm God's favorite. <laughs> Finally, people are believing. We might it. be believing. Yeah, They're you might have some believers it. now. Told y'all. But you know the beautiful thing about this, you know, obviously it's just the journey. And of course, I know you personally, and I know you to be a man of faith. Absolutely. And but even this last weekend, I was talking about, you know, as believers, we've got to be walking in faith, hope, and love. And I think that's, and I was just thinking about this as you were talking, is if we just use this journey of your life as an example, it's all about faith. I mean, positive is, positivity is greater than negativity. That's, all, that's a faith statement. Absolutely. That's an absolute faith statement that, that tells us, no, that God is good. Yes. And God's going to take care of us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the journey doesn't 
play out like we thought it was going to play out. There may be some seasons that are a little off. Right. You know? But how we deal with those seasons that's is right. what makes the difference. That's right. So that's the faith. Then there's the love. All right? Nobody loves our community like you do. I mean, you love people. That's why people have responded so well and so massively for you. And so that's just a witness. And then there's hope. Mm -hmm. And so when I see this, this is what this speaks to me. It's mm -hmm. faith, hope, and love. It's this, the hope of God can and God will. Mm -hmm. You know? And you know, that, that, that's been the thing. I, I've said this, whether people believe it or not. I've told many people that I have been more overwhelmed by the amazing, incredible amount of love and support shown to us, more overwhelmed with that than the night at 9.30 when he told me the biopsy was cancer. Yeah. It's been that much wow. amazing amount of love. And, and, when, and it's been that much that that's overwhelmed me more than what I've heard. But, you know, here recently, just like the other day after that report, and I posted something, and everybody was like, and the way I, I sat down that Saturday morning, I got up at like 4.30 and was just sitting out in the garage, and I was looking, and I went through every name. I just wanted to look at every name. There was 557 people. Right on that post, and I find, and I'm like, everybody believes, and I love when people say, "Hey, I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you, man, I love you, I'm thinking about you, I love you, I'm praying for this you." This is the difference maker. But here's the one thing: is everybody, they're believing. They are believing. They're like this crazy guy is gonna win. Yeah. It's he's, another level of faith. He's been dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing that right. I'm going to win. And when they talk about, man, I'm on Team Suter, I'm like, when somebody does puts their logo or something, I'm right. like, hey, man, you're on a winning team. That's right. We don't lose. We're not losing. <laughs> and they're like, well, that's a brave statement. Call it what you want. But, and, and there again, because of being positive about things, that doesn't mean that I don't have negative thoughts, but I don't let the negative thoughts control me. Yeah, yeah. There's all the time little darts, yeah. you know, and when people, if you, if I run into you somewhere and you was to kind of get a little negative with me, if you see me disappear, I'm not magical. I just leave you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just don't, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to yeah. surround myself with any negative stuff. You know, uh, some people might say, well, you're not being realistic. Real, yeah, yeah. Well, it's my ball game, so I get to play the way right. I want to play. But you know but what? You, but you were talking about bravery, and I could see you know people saying, "Oh man, that's so brave! You're, it's amazing! You're you're doing that!" Blah blah blah, and it's wonderful. But there's a difference between bravery and belief. Mm -hmm. You know, belief is this thing of saying, "You know what? Listen, God can and God will." You know, and and I'm a firm believer in this, Richard, that the greatest miracles that we see tend to come from people who are just nuts enough to believe that God can. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we, like you said, we were talking about this earlier, you just kind of brushed through it pretty quickly, but, you know, the world's nuts right now. I mean, it's crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it's, there's, there's a lot of hate, mm -hmm. uh, anxiety, fear, all these things, and it's just flooding from every direction. And for you and your wife, to be able, because we can't forget Elizabeth in this. No, no. The, no because no. that's that holding those arms up, that's man. Right, that's She's right. She's the one. Cheerleading. That's right. And, and one of the best. But what I will tell you is that the strength of someone's belief is the game changer. Mm -hmm. If we can simply believe enough that, hey, you know what? If God could create this... If God could create this world, who am I to say that he can't take care of this in my life and use this journey for somebody else, too? I told y'all, maybe this morning when we, were at, when we was getting coffee uh, and ran into you that, may, may not have, but I truly, um, each and every day, uh, 
I mean, I, I think of how cool this is going to be a year from now, two mm -hmm. years from now, three years from now, for me to be able to look at somebody and go, man, have I got a great story for you? Yeah. Or somebody, hey, I got a friend that's going through this. Do you mind talking with them? I'd love to. Yeah. Um, but being able to, to and, and it's a daily prayer for me as God use yeah. me some kind of way, find me somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't care, as I told you this morning. I had an opportunity the other day. I went through the Wendy's drive through to get some breakfast. If you hadn't tried the breakfast, it's awesome. But anyway, just she said something to me. It triggered me, and nobody was behind me. And we just started talking. And next thing you know, she says, well, I just love you. And it was just, you know, I don't want to see yeah. people. I love, I mean, within seconds, she went from just kind of, Felt like just seemed felt like her spirit was just crumbling, wow. and I and yeah. and then I take this off and I go here, you girls, here you go, girl, stick your arm out the window, <laughs> put it on her, and I said that's a magic bracelet. <laughs> You're gonna love it all day, <laughs> but it's fun to do that, and yeah. I I do love love, and I will tell you right now, I um, golly, I guess you could say I'm a junkie because there's nothing more that I love than to get to talk to somebody and get just a little sense that there's something in their soul that's bothering them yeah and just put some i hate to keep saying just putting positive positivity on but just hope. just great words of yeah. encouragement and and just within two three four minutes i look and then i kind of see their eyebrows go up and then i see the smile and and i may say hey give me a big hug and and then I walk away, and it's just like, boom, 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 boom. And I do love that. I, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm addicted to it. It's not. It's. I'm not being uh, something that I'm not. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is. It is so. It is so fun to see that situation. Yeah. And it happens all the time in my work. That's the reason COVID drove me nuts um, yeah. because I wasn't with people. And somebody comes in and they are so scared. And then when you get through, they're like, I said, I know what you're going to say. No, I can't come back tomorrow. You had so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do. I love when they go, man, this, this was not what mm. I thought. And I want to thank you because I was a nervous wreck. Yeah. But, and that can be not just in photography. It can be in any line of work that yeah. you're in. It doesn't have to be at work. Right. It can be, I mean... I get cranked up in two or three aisles in Publix. Some I know and some I don't know. I prefer <laughs> the ones I don't know because now I've got new friends. But um, anyway, chemo's going great. I mean, I'm, I listen, I run into people and they're like, so you're, you're not doing chemo now? I'm like, yeah, we just, we finished round five. When did you have that? Uh, Tuesday? Yeah. A and what's that thing on your side? That's my chemo pump. And like, how are you out? And I go, but I mean, really, the the doctor, there, they are like, so you've had no sickness, fatigue, tired, nausea. Yeah, you just kill it. I, I mean, it, it's just and there has to be that there's there just has to be a power in the mindset. Well, I, I you know, you've heard me say this a thousand times. Where the mind goes, the man follows. Yeah. So all I'm thinking about is, man, can you imagine the people I can talk to four years from now, five years from now, to share hope? And it doesn't have to be about cancer. Right. There's things, there's, there's obstacles. Yeah, hope's universal. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and then, you know, there's ways that just your mind and people say, well, I'm not you. I'm not wired like you. You can still generate positive thoughts positive actions because I don't care what anybody says uh, we just said it in there a while ago that you know there's a deposit you make to the bank mm -hmm. but my favorite deposit slip is the one to the heart yeah because when you know that you have made someone happy or you've done something for them it's healing and there's you know they're like man that was so awesome thank you it's healing. I mean I love that I yeah. love that, and and I can assure you that with that mindset, 
this body is doing all this stuff that the doctors are like yeah they can't even understand they don't understand no. and 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 i and i know for a fact that um beyond a doubt that i know that <sighs> there's a purpose there's a purpose and i know that god is smiling hmm because of all yeah. the people that are believing. I mean, I had somebody days like, buddy, I hate to say, I mean, they didn't, she didn't say, say this, but she was like, I mean, all this stuff has to be a God thing. Yeah. And I'm like, absolutely. And to see people believe, I, I mean, it just, it's amazing to me. No, it's, it's uh, life changing. Absolutely. And, and it's, um, and go ahead. Well, I think I think you know just because I I'm gonna ask you to maybe pick one story, so I'll let you think for like thirty seconds. <laughs> maybe one story that stands out in this journey that you know that means something to you. And but before before that, could you? I mean, could, they're right there, and I, I've been watching trying to. Since you've been talking, I don't get to usually do that. I can, I can kind of pay a little more attention to what's been going on on the screen. I know there's three people that I've seen who are fighting battles with cancer at different levels. And I can guarantee you that in the next two to three days, out of the thousands of people that will be watching this, a great majority of them are going through hell in their life right now. What would you, if you had a moment just to sit across the table with them, what would you tell them you know we just I just had a guy join our page the other day and he has pancreatic cancer don't know him uh, don't even know what state he lives in but it was encouraging to me see that's the thing people are like man your encouragement and and, and I'm thankful that, that I am you know that people are getting encouraged but when they say that they were encouraged and it helped this yeah. or it helped that, that yeah. encourages me. Yeah. But this guy was on there and he goes, I'm so happy that I found your page because I was right there on the edge of giving up. Yeah. Yep. I was ready to give it up. Hope. And I started looking at your page and I want to thank you for all your post and I will continue to follow and I thought you know one person whether it's one mm. or there's 50 you know everybody's journey is different yeah and 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 people you know you've heard but you don't know what I'm going through and I don't know but you know like one day I was at Publix and I saw him getting a guy out of a car. Maybe he looked like he was 45 years old. And, hmm. you know, he they were helping him out and he was sick sick. Yeah. And I thought, man, I got no problems. Right. I got no problems, I'm great, thanks God. And then, an hour or two later, I was somewhere and there was somebody and they was on a breathing apparatus and just really struggling. And, and I could look at that because I remember my mom, she had emphysema. And I'm thinking, mm. if I wanted to run across through here right now, I could. Now, I might shake up the little alien in there, as I call him. <laughs> every, uh, this is a fun thing, every Tuesday or every other Tuesday when I get chemo, instead of saying I'm going to get chemo, I always tell the nurses there, we're here to serve eviction notices on the little alien that is in my pancreas. <laughs> right. So as the chemo goes in, he is being evicted That's and eradicated right. and he will uh, get thrown out. But, you know, is there's so much to be thankful for. And some people might say, well, what, but you've got cancer. And I keep saying to myself, you know, cancer is not a death sentence. Yeah. I see cancer treatment centers that. everywhere. So if you've got cancer and you just die, there wouldn't be all these awesome, like, I go to Tennessee Oncology, there would be no need. Right. There's no need. But I do believe with all my heart that every time I say cancer is not a death sentence, mm -hmm. cancer is not a death sentence, it's in my mind, it's in my heart, it's in right. my spirit. 
And so I start believing that, and I believe that. And then, when all of these people hmm. around me, they're believing what I'm saying, now they're all, they're like, dude, I, what, I know it ain't nothing going to happen. I know yeah. you got this. They just started encouraging me. Right. And I didn't even ask them to. Yeah. Yeah, it's a forest fire of, of uh, Yes, of I mean, it, it's, but I love, that is, my biggest encouragement is seeing people believing. Yeah. Believing. How many times have I got, you got this? Hey, cancer don't know what they were dealing with when they picked on you. But but it's just, I do believe, I guess they used to call it self-talk. Mm -hmm. And I will. I will tell myself stuff. I believe in telling myself stuff. I needed to do something one time. I had a job one time after, uh, uh, the very next day after a chemo session. And I was like, man, I'm going to feel so great when I wake up in the morning. I'm going to be able to pull this. And prayed, God, I did awesome in chemo today. I need to feel great in the morning. You know I'm your favorite. <laughs> and he does have a sense of humor. But I do know this. I do know that when I walk into heaven one day, he is going to be like, dude, you like to have killed me in 2021 <laughs> with all these people. I shoot a uh, Educate a Woman conference for Ball State every year. It's where they raise money for scholarships, and it's a luncheon. This year, I was unable to shoot it, but I got texts from several of them and said, well, just want you to know, we just had 400 women in one room pray for you. I love and I that. thought, man, can you imagine what God was thinking? <laughs> He's like, now he has sick 400 <laughs> women on me. But that's okay. I'm his favorite. Uh, well, you know, somebody's got to be. And, and, and the humor part of this, it, listen, how many of we all heard that, you know, happy is one of the best medicines there is? Yeah. And I believe that. I yeah. believe that. I, I posted something the day that so true. that um, positivity makes you happy. Yeah. And happy makes you healthy. And healthy makes you heal. Right. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's just, uh, mm. I, if, if I, you know, I don't know. It's just, um, it's, it's, it's really awesome to see the people. And I, and I say this all the time is I'm very grateful, thankful, and love the support from Team Suter. Yeah. Uh, I love seeing all the, the people like, you know, like you, you know, we believe, we believe, we believe. Um, I'm going to wrap it up with one story whenever you tell me I'm, to wrap I, it up. I'm ready. When I, look, here's the one thing I knew about this one is like, <laughs> there's not a lot of work to do on this. You just kind of let him go. So Let him go. Take the so leash just off. Just let him go. You know, what, one, of the, one of the most favorites, and I tell this story, uh, at any luncheon or a company that I've gone to speak to, um, it'll kind of tell you why I do love my job. Uh, it's pretty obvious I do love it. Uh, but I was shooting um, for a company here in Gallatin. I was actually shooting a uh, uh, for the Chamber of Commerce, the city guy. And the, the lady that owns the place, super awesome. Uh, we got through and she goes, you would not believe this. But I was so nervous last night. Got up this morning, and she said, I want to thank you for making this fun. Because it turned out not to be what I thought it was going to be. By the way, do you do headshots? And I said, oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's probably 30 40% of my business. And she goes, I'm going to get you with someone, and let's get it scheduled. So we were back up there in about three weeks, and we had like 14 people there. And uh, I just love this story. And if I don't cry. Uh, but if I cry, it's a happy cry. Um, about the fourth or fifth lady that came in, um, she came in, and usually I get the, the puff or the blow. <sighs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> and sometimes when they puff on me. I think I've probably done that a couple times. And they puff on me, and they go, oh, God, I hate getting my picture made. And I go, God, I hate shooting them. So I say this, sit down. No, I, I don't say it like that. I do say that, but they get a little love, too. I call it smack them and hug them. But no, anyway, sit down, and right off the bat, I detected something. Um, there was just something about her spirit. Uh, just, I don't know. There was something, I don't know. I just said we got to turn on the extra love button. So anyway, we started shooting, and she goes, I'm so horrible at this. And I said, no, you're not. You're, she was doing great. Uh, and if she wasn't, I was going to tell her she was doing great. And uh, some people may say, well, you're lying to them. Well, no, I'm encouraging them. 
We're getting through it together. So anyway, we shot some more, and she was, you know, finally got a little freed up, and we kept going and going, and we got through, and I said, see there, you can drive yourself home, you don't have any dietary restrictions, and you're not have, you don't have to go to recovery. So it was easy. <laughs> and she, I said, she said, well, you know what, you were awesome. And I said, well, thank you, you just made my day. And I said, you want to see one? And I showed her, and she's like, wow, that's not me. I said, yeah, that's you. I said, I told you you were awesome. And she said, can I give you a hug? And I said, I was going to ask, but you beat me to it. Yes, I'm going to hug you, and you hug me. And that way we both. And so she went, and we finished up our job two or three hours later, and I went on home, and that was it. And about four nights later, I had a message on Facebook Messenger. And it was from a friend of mine. And it said, hey, hey, friend, uh, I enjoy watching you on Facebook, and I love seeing your pictures, but funny thing, small, small world. My mom came over for dinner tonight, and she says, let me tell you what happened on Tuesday. You won't believe this. I love this. We had this photographer come in, and you know that I hate that. But it was like the most fun that I believe I've ever had. He showed me the picture, and I could not believe it was me. And he gave me a hug, and it was just <laughs> awesome. And she said, Richard, you may hear that a lot, but here's what you don't know. That's the first time my mother has smiled in seven months since my dad died. Mm. And, oh, man. and I thought, man. Wow. So you never know. You just don't know. You don't know what somebody's going through. Wow. So... And I always say, you never, ever, you'll never go wrong loving on people. Yeah. And so just that, and I've said it over and over and over. Mm. For what that paid my heart, it was probably 20 times what my check was for the job. Yeah. And those deposits to the heart, you can't, I mean, those are, you can't. Priceless. They're priceless. They're priceless. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, um. It's a great journey. Uh, I, I mean, I, I tell people when you come up to me, if you see me out somewhere. And you probably will. And there's a good chance. I always say, don't talk to me in funeral home voice. Don't, <laughs> don't clasp your hands like they do at the casket. Don't come up to me and go, how you feeling, man? <laughs> you okay? Well, hey, wait a minute. The head tilt. I got to tell you, though, because we were talking about this, and when we ran into each other at, the, at Cave. Yeah. And I, I said, hey, I meant to ask you today because, you know, uh, I usually do this outside. And it's like heat index of 103 <laughs> right, or something. Right. And uh, I was like, dude, should we do it inside and all this stuff? He look, and he looks at me. He goes, dude, I'm not sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, going, oh, well, okay, my bad. <laughs> no, so we're outside. We're outside. We're outside. But, um, no, it, it, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a... It's an amazing journey. I, I'm not saying that I would go out and order a, you know, could I get an order of, <laughs> right. of cancer right. to go? No, and I and I know it's a it's a it's a serious disease. Um, I also know that we are winning. Yeah. Um, when your oncologist looks at you and says that that 38,000 drop in tumor marker points, when he looked at me and said. This graph right here is the kind of stuff that oncologists dream about. Yeah. And I showed the report to my nurse that has done my chemo twice. Yeah. And she hugged me, and I, she had a mask on, but I could see the tears pouring down her. Mm. And I'm like, man, I really did good on my graph, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, let's just say that posit just living life, positivity, yeah. with, I mean, Positivity over negativity and living a positive life yep. has been such an impact on me getting to this point. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, and, and let me say this, very grateful for my doctors, nurses, uh, wonderful team, uh, yeah. all three of my doctors, Dr. Mertz, I call him the head coach, Dr. Uh, uh, Richard Gear, the surgeon, I call him the pancreas whisperer, and Dr. Bauer, amazing. Uh, the lead lead doctor 
God is, I, I, yeah. I can assure you, is just all over this. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but I know that he loves me being positive about it because he, I know that he's got this. Yep. And so I just encourage people to just think about what you say to people and just look at somebody and go, man, I, I love that jacket you got on, man. That's awesome looking. They could be having a funky day. Yeah. Uh, and that little thing. I'm going to find a watch on somebody. I'm going to find a pair of shoes. I'm going to find something on you that I like. And I'm going to tell you, man, I love that watch. Yeah. And and, and who doesn't want to be complimented, you know? Right. And, and, and if you see somebody, I'm always, I, I want to touch base on this. Okay. So, smile. It's, it's backwards, but it's actually, it's elims. Smile. <laughs> yeah, a limbs, a limbs with a. So when you see somebody, a limbs them, yeah. <laughs> smile at them. This one you can't yeah. see, um, but these tattoos were done years ago, and I'm like, oh, how did I know that this was going to happen now? This one says, I can, I will. End of story. Yeah. And when I get done with chemo and everything, I'm going to put one above it. Says I did. Um. But just being, there's so many ways to, 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 you know, we've all seen that, and I've posted it 10 million times, we rise by lifting others. Yeah. And just start doing it. Yep. And it might not be that instant, because, you know, everybody wants instant gratification. Yeah. Instant gratification. And I have sown, and not patting me on the back, but I have sown... Seed after seed after seed after seed after seed here, there, everywhere. And you look up and something great happens like, yeah. oh, good catch. <laughs> <laughs> so you never know what's happening on yeah. refuel. Something fell. We caught it. But, you know, just being kind to people yeah. and thinking about when I look at some of these, like the smile, um, you know, I used to tell people, just smile at people. Because if, if you walk towards me and you're smiling, mm -hmm. I, I love, I'm like, this guy's happy. I need, He's going to tell me something good or he's, he's yeah. bringing something good. If you're walking down the street and you see a dog in the yard, I use this example, and the dog has got his ears up and his tail's wagging. In dog world, he's smiling at me. Right. Right? Well, what do I want to do? I want to go over and pet him. Right? And then you walk up another block up the street and you see another dog in the yard, and his ears are laid back, hair standing up on the back of his neck and his tail. I, nobody wants to go pet him. Well, let me assure you, if you see me, my ears are up, my tail's wagging, and I want you to come pet me and rub me. I'm just like the dog. <laughs> I was like, it's not that kind of show. No. <laughs> Everybody knows what I mean. I want we you do, to come and love on me. That's right. There you go. And that's the story that I think is so important is this, is that just simply remembering that a life of faith, a life of belief, it's what this is. Positivity is greater than negativity. And whatever you're going through, guys, you look, it could, maybe you look at it and he goes, well, yeah, he's talking about cancer. You know, I'm just... I'm just having a really bad time with my job. I don't like my boss or whatever that is. Look, it all works. Absolutely. This works because it's who God created you to be. He created you to take authority over your thoughts and to be able to speak life. Mm -hmm. So I think tonight that would be the biggest thing to say is we, we just want to speak life over you and enjoy it and love people. That's what we need to do. So and and you don't get what you want, you get what you believe. Mm, that's that's really good. It's really good. I need to let you just do refuel all the time. You got all these little <laughs> slick quips that are good, man. I love it. Well, listen, guys, we need to get off here. Thank you for hanging out, and I'm so grateful that you're all here. And absolutely, uh, thank you. Don't forget Richard's recovery. You could find that on Facebook uh, in the groups. Check it out. There's a lot of encouragement there. And keep up with the story. If you're local, you're going to see the signs. You're going to roll around. You probably wonder, what the heck is that? Well, now. <laughs> is he running for office? <laughs> that's what those right, signs right. make it's me exactly think of. what you think. But that's what it is, is encouragement. So 
our hope is that you have the extra oomph that you need to get through whatever you're fighting right now. And remember, my goal for you is always this. Go to make tomorrow way better than today was. Make tomorrow the best day you've had all week. You can do this. I know you can. You were created for it. Hey, listen, I'm going to make a shameless plug as always. If you don't have a home church and you're looking for a place to plug in, come hang out with us at Three Oaks every weekend, 10 a.m. It's a great congregation. We even let Richard come every now and then. So <laughs> <laughs> If he behaves. <laughs> if he behaves, which is rare. But, but no, it's a great place where everybody just is trying to be real. So come hang out with us. Check out online. You can find out information, all that on this page. And uh, once again, I want to encourage you to go to Richard's Recovery. You can find all kinds of cool stuff that you can kind of grab. Yeah, look at that. See, I, I can go that route. Look out. See, does that work? I look like an idiot. That's what that looks like. I can't do it. That's a, that's a Trey Cor Corley slide or Corley something. Corley can pull it out. Yeah. we got to get him a flat bill. We need to get him a flat. That's yeah. exactly right. But anyway, guys, we love you. Richard, thanks for coming Thank you, man. out with us, It was man. great. Thank you. You're Thank you. amazing as Thank always. You. Thank you. And uh, show him some love, guys. Uh, I'm going to hang out in the comments a little later and kind of answer some questions and hang out with you. But we love you. Thank you for spending some time with us on this toasty Wednesday evening. Anyway, love you guys. Be blessed.